Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners and lots and lots of other DIY projects, start now by subscribing and click the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to have a go at a burner that I made earlier on in the year. It's getting very popular now at the moment. But the thing is, I, I used it in a stove. This time around, I'm going to try and make it, replicate the system, but without a stove. Okay, so we've got a platform. You'll know what that is. This is just a sweet tin, you know, with a hole in it. And the hole in it is big enough to accommodate this. Okay, that's just a dog food tin. Okay, I've drilled holes every one inch, inch and a bit, all the way around. They're 13 mil holes, and I drilled two, two rows of them. I'm only going to use the top row of holes at the moment. Okay, I cut two slots just to increase the air and to make it look cool. Okay, now, so this is what happens. The hole is an exact size for this dog food tin. It goes in here, so here we go, a bit of noise. Okay, and what I want to do is I just want the top layer of holes to be inside the tin. The bottom layer of holes can be outside the tin, this side on the bottom. This is upside down at the minute. Okay. okay, so this is just for the fun. This is just a demonstration of a prototype. So that's what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so we just have the top layer of holes showing in that. Okay, now the idea of the, the four drinks cans is to keep this off the ground, okay? And that's it. So when I put weight on that, it's not resting on the tin. The tin is being held there because it's just a tight fit in the hole. So this is just a car brake disc. Now I used this last night when I was doing another experiment, and I used it this way up. This time around, it's upside down like a top hat. I've welded on a couple of lugs because last night when I did the video my, uh, my flue kept falling over. So I've made this kind of a contraption, it's like a crutch just to hold the flue. And this is just the centre of the flue. It also gives me more room underneath for a combustion chamber. I'm trying to replicate the stove. Okay, here we go. That sits on here. That's it. Now we need a lump of flue. Now this is one meter of five inch stainless steel lightweight flu. Okay, get this stuff anywhere. You could make something. You could use pipe, anything you want. Okay, the idea is it's going to sit in here, and it's not going to blow over. Now when I ignite this, that's how it's going to be set up. And for now, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to light it through the, the opening. Okay, so this is just prototyping. In the next video, I'm going to introduce a drip feed oil system. But for now, I'm just going to put some stuff in it ignite it, drop this flue into it, and see what happens. Okay, so it's getting cold in the evenings now, and lots of people are interested in free heat. This is just prototyping, this is just messing around, you know, and be very careful doing it. I don't know if this is going to work, so we'll see. You'll see what I see. Okay, so here we go, look. We've got a can. Um, this camera can see inside. Now, I'm going to put a squirt of used vegetable oil in here. You'll see it on the other camera. I'll, I'll have the other shot. Okay, now the problem with this is, it wants to go down the big hole that I cut in the middle of the tin. So, you know, I have it molded around. But when we put a drip feed system into it, uh, we can get it going on this. If it works, then I know whether to kind of make all this up in steel, you know. So this is just a temporary setup. Now I put enough in it to ignite. Now, veg cold vegetable oil doesn't really light that well. Now, I've got some cold used vegetable oil in this container at the moment. And I want to ignite it. If I put the blowtorch on this, nothing's going to happen. So I'm going to drop in some kerosene just to get it moving. And from the performance of this, we'll know whether to proceed and to do something better than this. Again, this is just prototyping. Here we go. Drop the kerosene because it ignites easier. It'll get the whole thing moving. Okay, so just a bit. Now, we've only got a few seconds worth of fuel in this. But from this, I can determine whether to move forward with it or not. Okay, let's see if we can make fire. Okay. Okay, so that's what happens. I have to move the other camera so I have a camera. Okay, just getting this out of the way. Okay, so that's what happens if you just burn the fuel. But that's no use to us, right? So now we want to direct it. So there we go. Now it's coming out the hole. And now to get it to, to move faster so that it sucks the air up from the bottom. Here we go. 
Can you hear it? As soon as I put the flu on it, the podcasters have to rise up the flu and make something happen. So now we have a waste oil burner. There's no smoke coming out of the top yet, and the paint's going to burn off this if we've enough fuel in here to do that. Don't do this at home. Here we go. Okay, we have to hit a flash point. You know, we have to get this boarding hot enough. Excellent. Now, okay, so this is prototyping. The stuff is coming out of it because the, the center hole is big and not welded. Okay, but again, if you can ignore that and listen to this, It's actually very good heat on this. I'm actually cold at the minute. Okay, so this is all the oil and the bits and pieces on this morning. And this stuff dripping off is just the oil. We can't contain it in a, a tin with a hole in the bottom. Given the heat off this, this has to be going red. So that's one meter of flue creating this amount of suction. It's like a rocket stove. What I need to do is put the second length of flue on this, extend the flue, and I'll have more suction here. I might even seal around here. But there's great heat off it at the moment. What I'd like to do is to get it to go red. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but there's flame actually coming out of the top of this. So if we put the second layer of flue on this and make a more permanent burner unit, uh, th this would be great. The smoke you're seeing is because it dropped its, its load, dropped its oil onto the deck. That whole tin is red. Okay, so with four items, a dog food tin, you know, a biscuit tin, a disc rotor, you know, a car brake disc, and some flue, we made a, a functioning waste oil burner. This was really easy to do. The heat off it is, is brilliant. Okay, so what I'm going to do now in the next video is I'm going to introduce a drip feed oil system into it so we can control the fuel. Um, also I might even make one out of steel just for the fun of it. There's great heat off this at the moment. Okay so that's it. If you liked the video please thumbs up, subscribe down here and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for dropping by. Good luck. And I'm driving the neighbours nuts with these videos. <laughs> <laughs>